SEC football returns in prime time as we win probably won three games. So the margin for victory is very small here in the SEC as Billy Nips. Trevor Etienne back deep to receive this Adam Mahala kick. And from the goal line, off and running in Gainesville. Seven in white. Rush pretty bland there in Wisconsin. He gets a chance now to be in full control of this offense with a lot. Montrell Johnson makes a nice move. And let's see where they whistle this back. It's back at a 25 where the yeah. sack should have been. There we go. The backside press. One of the things that was a strength last year that I'm a little concerned heading into this season. Well, you mentioned the injuries and you see the touch. That's what he said in terms of how quickly he picked this thing up. Here comes pressure. Austin Armstrong will dial it up and Mertz going to be hit back near the 25 and that'll be fourth down. And one of the first so. Watkins will kick it away. Couple of bounces. Whistle dead inside the 32, a punt of 43. Popped up with it, but the ball obviously carried right underneath. 15 yard pass interference penalty. The handoff, Trayon Webb, and we'll check in with Pete Thamel for more on Jack Miller. Dice Webb in the backfield. Miller, the quarterback, out of the shotgun. More pressure. <laughs> They'll roll away from it and be tagged in the process. And we talked an awful lot about it, Roy. Not supposed to be blitzing, but it has been a blitz fest early on. The defense getting the best of it so far. Starts and a 19-3 record is really going to help him in this fresh start. And Mertz, guys, was very excited about the RPO game. Uh, a, little, a few less answer. A good play on against virtually every defense. And hopefully Mertz is able to take what he's been able to learn in the meeting room and apply it out here and get them into those right plays and make sure this offense has a little more rhythm consistently than it's had. Second touch, Jack Miller, Cam Carroll in the game. Transfer from Tulane. Over left tackle, picks up some real estate. Man, it should be enough for a first down. A college football, which will benefit this team. Carroll stays on the field. Miller pulls it out and will race into plus territory. And a nice running back. Does a nice job of keeping his eyes on his key, pulls it. Nobody out there on the edge to contain and pick early. That was issue to overcome. Pressure again, that's been consistent tonight. He'll heave it out of bounds. Now on the attack, Bryce Thornton. Bryce Thornton's dad played running back at Georgia back in the day. Love to see that if you're a Gator fan. We'll flip it out into the flats, and Scott Isaacs, the penalty marker down. In position for the second year in a row, and there's the hold. Here's one thing to always remember. In Gainesville, we were worried about rain earlier in the week. The crowd has showed up. That's great to see. Backside pressure, pressure and Miller got rid of it. Move the chains. Actually, third down here. I'm sorry. Offensive and defensive lines trying to bring in some of those difference makers. We know it's a line of scrimmage league, and this, this team has been deficient, particularly on the defensive side of the forward. Four-man front, ETN the running back. Mertz rips it away, wide open, incomplete. And it was Henderson that broke. Does a good job of reading a little, little bit of a trail underneath that made him throw. Still scoreless, Florida spring game, ETN. Nice jump cut around the left side, and up for a first down and stopped at the 45. Jacksonville with the Jaguars, but an impressive freshman season for that young man. Yeah, the two combined to rush for almost 1,600 yards. This time, stop at the line. No gain. Yeah. Caleb Bay. certainly has a different roster this year. 27 new players enrolling mid-year, including freshmen and through the portal. Contact against Henderson. For themselves, the players were buying in, but I think you eventually saw that thinning of the herd a little bit as a lot of guys. Sure didn't fit the, the future of Tyree Cleveland. So the guy knows how to coach the position. position. He played it in college, and I love the technician that he is in terms of teaching the details and focusing on the little things. Loving the swamp, even though he was in Alabama. So he graduates from college, he went to a small school, Huntington College. In 2016, he was unemployed, driving around the state. Run. The defense has been the story so far as Webb goes through the A-gap. Yeah, the defense has definitely dominated so far. No conver conversions on third. Statement, and I'm right there with you. We, it's what sells tickets, right? The offense. Especially the spring game. Right. Inside give, powerful finish across the 30. The last couple couple years for him at Ohio State and here in Florida last year. Third down and one. Webb will penetrate the line. He'll pick up the first down. Stopped at the 43. Six. Mizell unable to catch the pass. 
moments ago from Miller. Zipped across the middle, and this time the grab is made. What a, but he's actually come down here to uh, the south and done a nice job the last year and a half. Nice move. Bowl. The Gators barely scored a point. They needed a field goal as time expired to extend a streak of 30 years of scoring in every single game. Miller said that really has motivated him this offseason. The Gators were down about 25, beating them as opposed to where his own guys are. And we've seen at times some comfort tonight. That obviously wasn't comfortable with the snap flying over his head and him throwing the ball to me here in the first row. That's the second or third bad snap we've seen so far tonight. Uh, just has not been as, as uh, clean offensively as the freshman from him out there in the Las Vegas Bowl, which I think is completely unfair. First start, guy coming off. Nice, nice little run there. Talk to me, Camp Carroll. But coming off that thumb. Nice job on the outside zone and a little hurdle there for the transfer. It reminded me a little bit of Anthony Richardson in that yeah. first start a couple of years back. Yeah. I the number 10 that, that Florida fans can expect this year. All right, blue team in the red zone. Here we go on first down. Jack Miller surveys. Cross his body wide open, and there it is. Marcus Burke. First touchdown of the night from 16 yards out. That's one way to do it. It's that scramble to let receivers uncover. That time, defensive back Jordan Castile having to try to cover for a long period. Just under four and a half minutes. So good rhythm that time, CD. That's what you were looking for in Marcus Burke. He will get a chance to run with the ones to start the third quarter, going to get that opportunity. So we'll see how this quarterback battle continues to progress. We do expect at some point in time, as you see ETM bounce outside there, we expect to see this guy moving into a little bit more of a leadership role with Amari Bernie and Ventrell Miller moving on to the next level. Johnson keeps the play going. Montrell Johnson. In the plus territory, ushered out near the 40. Johnson and Etienne, you're going to feed those guys. It's going to be kind of the flavor of the offense this year in general for Florida. And I think this it's such a an interest. And that's with an offensive line that's depleted a little bit. Graham Mertz, through his progressions, has his man, Caleb Douglas. And still on his feet, pounded down near the 15. Turns a scoring opportunity into a turnover. And that was your guy, Shamar James, with the recovery. Four-man front, inside give. And Webb get to the for deciding to come down here to Gainesville. Pick up the pressure. This ball going long and incomplete. Talent of those guys. Ricky Pearsall won last year. Osiris Torrance, Montreal Johnson. New faces that came in were big-time contributors, and it's a huge get to get number one back, as you mentioned. He was able to do it, Louisiana. And year two of their system. Kind of everybody understands their role for the first time. Nice. On cue and a big completion inside the 30 to 24. That was rhythm by the quarterback and Correct. receiver. Pearsall on the screen pass will be sent down quickly. Knows where his receiver is going to be. Got man coverage. Henderson did a nice job. Four minutes to go in the half. Mertz with time. Standing in the pocket forever and finally escapes with a penalty marker down. That time stepping up, had some pressure from the linebackers. Mertz does a good job of putting his foot in the ground when there's nothing there. Making him settling in here and, and the offensive line adjust a little bit. All right, now usually call the plays. What should we see here? Well, so. Nice play. He's created some created some issues on inside right so this is a guy who played really well for Memphis um, we knew it. see what Miller can do touchdown scoring drive the last time and he'll spot who could coming in from Baylor and Cam Waits another guy that uh, came over from Louisiana with the coaching staff last year so this is not the offensive line that we're going to see in the fall Henderson back deep to receive Crawshaw punt. And a wobbler will take a bounce. Right. Certainly catches the ball consistently. Johnson, the running back. Mertz steps up. By a little bit of time on the move, and Pearsall corrals it. That'll be enough to move the chains in a gain of 13. As you see some of the protection breaking down. What a good, a good initial to help your two-minute drive. Johnson in the back, Mertz. Does that qualify as a dirty pocket? Running, racing, incomplete. Another, another 
blue jersey. The first half. Off the back nice. foot, that's a touchdown. Jackson, two for two. Picked up eight, that time scored six. You know how you get the defense to stop blitzing? Beat them. That time brought some safety blitz from the, the second. Leo Jackson on the right, puts his foot in the ground. Mertz knowing the empty spots there, vacated. At Florida. How about Mertz on that drive, CD? Four of six, 71 yards, and the touchdown.